Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at another Linux application and this time we're going to be checking out a Twitter client. Now I've tried a whole bunch of Twitter clients and I've not found one that works very well. Some of them worked really well before Twitter made their API change but don't work so well now. Now the one that I found is not strictly a application but it's more of a wrapper for the website and it is a wrapper for TweetDeck. Now this is using Electron and it's available on whatever distribution you're on. I'm on Manjaro, which is an Arch-based distro. So in the AUR, you can get Atomic TweetDeck. There's a few different Electron TweetDecks. This is the one that I found that works the best. If you're on Ubuntu or a Debian-based distribution or Red Hat, then you can get an Electron TweetDeck. You'll just have to search in your repository or look online for Electron TweetDeck and then you can download that and get pretty much the same functionality. Now, if you don't know what Electron is, it's basically just a framework that takes a website, puts a wrapper around it and lets you treat it like a, a native application. So this is the web version, but as you can see, it looks like any other application window we can make it smaller or larger we can maximize it and bring it back to size whatever we would do with any other window now another thing that's nice is notifications show up in the notification area in your desktop environment so if i get somebody that at mentions me or sends me a direct message I get, i'll get a notification on that just like i would on any other application and it shows up in my i'm using uh, kde plasma here it shows up in my notification area just like any other app and the functionality of this is really nice too because you have multiple columns that you can configure. So the home column is basically just your Twitter feed and then you have notifications, mentions, trending. You can schedule tweets and then you'll see those scheduled tweets show up in here. And then you can come in and add different columns. So I could add a messages column or you know whatever other columns I have that I'm not currently looking at if I want quick access to that information. The other thing that's nice is when you create a tweet, you can come in and add images or video. You can schedule the tweet, like I mentioned before, if you want a delayed tweet. And you can also send direct messages from here. So for me, this client does everything that I want. I don't care that it's not a native client and it's just a wrapper. It works really well, it's really lightweight. I get notifications and it does everything I need to do. Now, like I said, this is the one that works best for me. So if you have one that works well for you, please leave that in the comment section below so we can all learn from that. Hopefully you found this useful and informative. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. I'll be putting out a bunch of these videos in the near future. And I hope to see you at the next video. Take care.